favorite, I mean actually favorite Tokusatsu podcast, and uh, today we're going to talk about a lot of things, a lot of topics, in fact, from Kamen Rider to Sentai, and non-Toku stuff as well, so yeah, let's uh, be <laughs> let's begin, shall we? Alright, first off, let's talk about Kamen Rider, and uh, oh boy, so, we should have started with first, okay. Okay, let's get the uh, meat and potatoes out of the way. So let's talk about uh, Kruger first before before we go on. So if you're not know, a couple of days ago on Twitter, it was it came to our attention that uh, Titan Comics uh, had a error trans an uh, error trans uh, error. Translation in the era for the for the first copies of the Kruger manga, and uh, oh boy. Now, don't worry. They responded back, and uh, they said they, they said in the second response that they're gonna fix everything, make sure this does not happen again. That's good to hear. But the first time the response, oh boy. Oh god, that's stupid. And don't get me started on the zero. Don't get me started on the creator of the Zero One comic. That guy was just, well, well, that guy was just dumb. That's all I can say. He was just dumb. Like, he was just dumb. <laughs> so yeah, though. So yeah, uh, I, 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 I have no words, honestly. I didn't even freaking read the manga. And funny, yet I have it on deep. I didn't even read the first issue of the of the manga. Yeah, I have it. On, I have it with me, right in my hand right now. Yep, here it is, right here in my hands. Comrade Kruger, Volume One, by Stone Stone Bot Manga, by Titan Manga. Oh boy. Oh boy. I don't know. I don't know how the hell y'all meant to fuck this up, but yeah. Well, it's a good thing that uh, they're fixing it. And that's good to hear. I'm not buying it though, because I I gotta say this. At much as I'm grateful that we're getting a lot of comedy content in the rest, but yet at the same time, there needs to be a line between between a company begging for customers who are fans of one product to buy their shit. <laughs> Give me language, by the way, but still. And yet, there's another line of, well, of, well, people being, people getting into false advertising. That's, that's a problem. And, uh, it's really annoying. Now, you can disagree with me, that's fine. That's totally fine, fair. But at the same, t no. <laughs> you can disagree with me, that's fine. But it's just for me that this, this been happening a lot. And, uh, it's, frank, it's frankly not even that funny. It's really scummy, you can say. You need to stop. It just need to stop. And for the record, no, I have not read the Zero One comic. Why? Well, I can tell you why. I don't have a comic book shop near me. Wait, were you talking about Buka? <laughs> okay, please forgive my dog. <laughs> Wrong with him. Please figure my dog. But, uh, but, uh, yeah, though. Uh, what's talking about again? Oh, yeah. Yeah, but Boku, I, th I thought you have a comic book shop in Ohio. Well, I, well, where I live in Ohio, I don't have one. I'm not gonna say where I live in Ohio. He's not saying that. God damn it. Fuck. Well, I'm not saying where, so I'm good there. But uh, but uh, yeah, where I live, we don't sh we don't sell Toku toys. Oh, where I live in where I live in Ohio, there's like no Tokusatsu toys over here. No Sentai, no Kamen, no Ultraman. There's Power Ranger, but to be fair, Power Ranger, everyone knows what Power Ranger is. So that so that it, it, that isn't new. So yeah, but still, over here where I live, it's kind of boring. But moving on for that. Yeah, I yeah I never yeah I don't have the Zero One comic. Never read it. I'm, 
I have to be pretty glad I did because my god, the fucking, the fucking writer for that comic had the most dumbest shit to say. <laughs> but, I'm just gonna say this, I recommend watching Hawkeye's video on the whole Kruger Monitor situation drama. I'll put it, I'll put it, I'll put it in the freaking description for you guys to go watch. That's a really well detailed what everything said there is so true and I agree with him on it. So yeah. Speaking of common writers with the letter K in the name, <laughs> oh god, what the fuck. So let's talk about Kiva. Oh boy, this is gonna piss a lot of people off. <laughs> now don't worry, I'm not gonna bash Kiva, relax. I wanna say something. This is this is actually my response to to whatever, to whatever, what the fuck happened on Twitter? <laughs> so around, so on the 15th anniversary of Kamari Kiva, I, I, I treated a little bit of an honest hot take, you can say. And uh, oh boy, the community over, <laughs> can I say overreacted? But a few, a few of my friends disagree with me. That's fair. I'm not coming out to, I'm not coming, I'm not coming out to any of my friends that. I'm not, not, not going to end up with my friend, but for, but for, but for the, but for the community, besides them, you guys should be ashamed of yourself. And I say it, I say it the nicest way possible. <laughs> the reason why is because if someone has an opinion on a show they don't like, that you don't have the right to fucking get mad and overreact over it, like for fuck's sake. Fuck sake, this happened many this happened, this happened, this happened so many times on Twitter and I'm over here like Yeah. That's just his opinion. We should respect it. Like for fuck's sake. I'm actually surprised how yeah I'm actually shocked how people got mad well I'm at, I wanna say mad. I'm, I'm actually I'm actually laughing, but how the fuck did this treat gain so many attention? Like what the hell happened? Like how did they piss off this fan base already. I the only thing I just said is that I find Kiva. Well, the only thing I just said happy birthday. I said, oh, no. sorry, I'm sorry. The only thing I just said is happy anniversary to the most boring comedy season, in my opinion. That's Kiva. And oh boy, people came at him and saying, saying people came at him and saying, wait a minute, hold on. You say Kiva's boring, boring, boring. Yeah, I think it's boring. I didn't care for Kiva. I like the suits, I like the Toya, I like the soundtrack, and that's pretty much it. But yeah, I didn't care for Kiva, I thought, I thought it was boring. That's coming from me, and, and I'm a critic of Inoue's, of Inoue's work when it comes to Kamen Rider. I don't know, I have a bias and somewhat also a non bias talk when, when, it comes to, when it comes to writing for Tokusatsu show. Like, okay, let's go, okay, for example, let's talk about Kobayashi. Everyone loves Kobayashi's writing in shows like, okay, fuck, Tokyo, Ryuki, Oz, Go Busters, Time Ranger, Ginga Man, many other shows. I'll say Ryuki second time or not. <laughs> but here's the thing for me. I'm a 50 50 on Kobayashi's writing because I think she's her writing way better than Sentai, in my opinion. For shows like Shinkinja, Go Buster, and Ginga Man. I fucking love Ginga Man, by the way. I finished watching that show this week. Fucking loved it. God damn it. That show's so good. <laughs> yeah, King of, Man, King of Man's a good show. Recommend it. But when it comes to Ryder, in my opinion, her, uh, it doesn't click with me. I don't know why. I'm sorry. I don't know why. It just doesn't. Like, I didn't, like, really care for Olds. I'm gonna piss people off for saying that. <laughs> uh, let's see. Olds, Ryuki, and what else? What 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 other comic kind of show does he go for? Oh, what other what kind of comic show? I think it's, I think it's only those two. Wait a minute, I know there's one more. But what other one? I think okay, I think it's only those two. But uh, yeah, though. <laughs> Funny yeah, I say that because I know that I know that those two are fan favorite, but they, but they were my cup of tea. Miyuki, well, I did like Miyuki. I thought it was boring and was frustrating on my second rewatch last year. And O's, I just don't, I, I don't care for O's. I like the suits and the soundtrack, and that's pretty much it. <laughs> so, uh, my computer, my, my, my computer, my computer, my Yeah, yeah, So, uh, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, 
heck am I going to say? <laughs> Kiva, not my cup of tea. Moving on. <laughs> so, let's speak of Kamara. Speak of Kamara, I do want to say this. Uh, thank you guys for liking my uh, Kamara Revy review. Like, thank, like, for real though, no joke. That's actually made me pretty happy that, that video thing. That video thing a lot of love. I will work on Vice. I will, be, I will work on Vice probably next week. Get that video out as soon as possible. So, the, so there's also that. But I don't know what day I will release that video. I haven't, I, I haven't filmed it yet. <laughs> I haven't took any pictures for him yet or filmed the video. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'll get, I'll try to get onto that very soon as possible. Ay, ay, ay. I could be, I gotta be honest. This like, uh, this like a uh, week wasn't a, wasn't the best for me. Why I felt like crap, I was frustrated, angry, and work didn't help. I was not in a good, I was not a good place this whole week. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. I'm okay, I'm okay now. But uh, yeah, that, this whole week wasn't the nicest to me, we can say, unfortunately. And uh, yeah, that's, yeah, that's just the sad thing about this. I, it's a wasn't. <laughs> so yeah, that's wonderful. Oh boy, how do people? How the hell do people even do a bandy podcast to me? I can't go five seconds without saying yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So I guess liking G so far. For me, I'm loving G so far. Oh my god, the late episode. I think I haven't talked about why I like K-Wall so much. He reminds me of a younger version of Inu Takumi from Fives. Because he gave me the exact same vibe. The man doesn't have a the man doesn't have a dream of his own, but the only thing he wanna do is protect people. I'm like, damn, fuck. Even though Takumi doesn't have a dream himself, but yeah, he'll protect others' dreams. Fucking uh, K Wall over here reminds me of him, and goddamn, I love it. And I, lo and I love the interaction between him and his sister too. <laughs> that was a good, those, those were some good parts of like episode Jeets I saw today. So yeah, <laughs> but uh, yeah, the and the fight with freaking Buff on Ace. Oh my goodness, it's so good, it's so good. <laughs> it might even be bad difference. <laughs> oh boy, a little bit of a hot take for saying this one. It might even be better than the freaking Baron versus Kaito fight from Gaim. Even though I find that fight overhyped in my opinion, but still. It might be better for, might might even be, might even be better than Kaito versus Kaito versus Kota from Gaim. <laughs> so yeah. Let that sink in for a while. <laughs> oh god, I'm sounding so I'm sounding like an asshole for saying that. <laughs> So, uh, Sentai. Don't put, I can't, I fucking, okay, fuck it. Let's just talk about this. So, I just finished watching, uh, Senju Sentai, Senju Sentai Ginga Man. And god damn it, Kobayashi. That show, fuck, that show's so good. I watched all of it, I fucking ate, I fucking ate everything on my plate from watching that show. <laughs> like, no joke, Die Ranger, Die Ranger felt like I was forced to eat a type of food that I did not enjoy and like. But Ginga Man on the but Ginga Man on the other hand, I was relaxed while while eating my food nice and slowly and chewing every piece of well, meat we can say <laughs> from it. Then I ate that shit up. Die Ranger was like a freaking tough cookie to crack or to to bite in while Ginga Man felt like Felt like a nice, good, steamy pot roast of pork. You just chow down and eat nice and slowly. That's, that's the best way, that's the best way for me to describe Ginga Man and goddamn it. I fucking loved it. <laughs> they know Jojo, I actually love Ginga Man. Go keep, go keep my favorite kids in that show. That guy was just awesome. That guy was just awesome. That guy, that guy was just awesome. He was just awesome. Hike, I 
fucking love Hike. Hike's awesome. But no. So if I'm gonna rank them, I'll say Gokis first, then Hayek, Yoma, Saya, Hakaru, and uh Hyuga. Yeah, I yeah, don't yeah. Yeah, that's how I rank them in a damn. Damn, that's just fuck. I love Game Man. Good show. Nine out of ten. The whole time watching, I was, I was on the end of my seat, like, okay, okay, let's go. I tripped, no joke. The final episode gave me the exact same vibe that I was watching from Decker Ranger. And don't worry, I will. <laughs> I already did a podcast episode on Decker Ranger last year for my first episode for the Blue Cook cast, but, uh, very soon, the DVD is going to be released from Shout, and I will be watching the whole entire show. And I can't wait. <laughs> I get to have my favorite Sentai legally, legally on DVD over here in America. Hell yeah! Now give me Mag, now give me Magic Ranger and Bokinger, then we're good. <laughs> well, again, they are gonna get those eventually. So yeah, but still. So yeah, though that's just that's just awesome. That's just awesome. <laughs> that's that's just awesome though. But feel yeah though. Cameron, Cameron, we watched Deck Ranger for like what the fourth fucking time. Jesus Christ, I love this show to death. My favorite Sentai. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. When people go on Twitter, when they think of Deck Ranger, they think of Bloku Satsu. This is not the truth, by the way. <laughs> when you type Deck Ranger, you think of Bloku Satsu, and you're welcome for that. So, well, since well, I pretty much hype that show up a lot. And that's all. That's all. Just peak. I'm sorry, that's all, that's all just peak. So, yeah. The Potter Ranger, the fuck are those made as cops? No. Hell no. Hell no. Those, hell no, those suits are ass. <laughs> Self for the K after us, but still. If you want, if you want a team of badass cop rangers, you got Decker Ranger, and those fuckers, <sighs> those fuckers will get the shit done. <laughs> I love that. I love that team so much. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, uh, so, uh, back, so anyway, I want to say this. So, who's the disaster of? Gee, I actually know who it is. Right, I'll be honest with you. I actually got spoiled on. I, I actually got spoiled on Twitter, unfortunately, by by a certain user. I forgot his name. And uh. I saw my timeline picture of, of who the disaster is. I'm like, oh, it's Loop? Yeah, it makes sense. It made perfect sense to be on it. I'm not even surprised. And I say that mostly because of, well, I say that mostly because of the foreshadowing in the late episode. By the way, I saw this reveal last night before I watched the episode, so yeah. Then I then watched the episode, then I watched the late episode today, and I said to myself, oh, so, oh, so, see if this the whole time? Not surprised, because, well, because, well, she was looking at, uh, freaking K-1 and Ace, while she was throwing that bomb at them. Just saying. Just, just saying, though, so, uh, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, though. Jesus is pretty, Jesus, Jesus pretty good so far. I feel like that if Jesus keep doing this, it might be in my top ten. Jesus fucking Christ, it might be in my top ten. I might have, I might, I might have to take off. Fuck, uh, let's say Kabator Wizard. If Jesus keep getting on my good side, but yeah, though uh, Jesus is becoming. Uh, but yeah, though Jesus is becoming really good, and I love it. Solid character, well, some more than other. Solid character, good, good plot. The theme song is growing on me. I'm still not the biggest fan of Trust Last, but still, it's growing on me though. But uh, but yeah though, Jesus, 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 is really good. I'm getting a uh, so I talk about how. Hey, well, I'm getting a Takami vibe. Oh, yeah. Ace gives me a Tendo and a Sukasa vibe. <laughs> and well, I want to say Sento too, but no, I'm not getting a Sento vibe from him. 
I'm getting a uh, I'm getting a uh, ace and a freaking uh, a freaking fuck head talk. I'm sorry, I'm tired right now. I'm getting a a Kabuto and Decade vibe from him. A Tendo Sukasa vibe from Kabuto and Decade. For Nago, damn, what what can I say about Nago? I actually like Nago. See my I actually like her. She's my second favorite character in the show. Uh, let's say I'm getting a, uh, shit, uh, fuck, let's see, uh, <laughs> this is actually pretty hard, I can't lie, <laughs> I actually no idea, I, I, I actually for real, I have like, no idea, what the fuck, what the vibe I'm getting from this girl, <laughs> oh boy, oh my god, sorry, oh boy, oh boy though, Oh boy, I have no idea what I have no idea what the fuck have I been game for her at night. <laughs> the last time in my personal opinion we had a good decent writer female female writer in comedy history move aside okay no fuck I'm gonna say it was well Aoi Aoi from Black Sun and uh Aguilar from Revice. Before that we had before that, we had to say Bella, but uh, they fucked her up and made her want to fuck her own brother. Yeah, that wasn't a, that wasn't the best idea. Just gonna clarify that. That was actually one of the most dumbest ideas you could have done to a character's rep. You made her more. You, you, how the fuck you? Okay. How the fuck you gonna fuck up a character so badly in the beginning of the show? She was just cool. What? Cold, heartless, ruthless, badass bitch. I'm like, God damn it. She's not, she's not even, besides the, I'm like, ah, fuck. Okay, 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 sorry. I'll say it like this. It's like, God damn it, not only she's hot, sexy, but also, also she's a bitch, though. So, yeah, you know, ass. I love that. Then, when she became said Bala, she was kicking these niggas' ass in. Like, fuck yeah. And oh, what happened now? Oh, her brother appears. And now she's horny for him. <sighs> it's a whole entire show. Don't get me started the special. I watched the special, though. I actually liked it. It was pretty good. <laughs> it wasn't all bad. And thank God. But, my God. That fucking... That fucking, uh... <laughs> that fucking cover. The fucking poster doesn't make the... Doesn't make it look right, though. I'm sorry. No. Don't... Hell no, nah. Ocean Man should not be holding a sister like that. You see, no, 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 no. He shouldn't be holding her like that. He shouldn't be holding her like that. That's just uh, oh. that. Oh, that's just a. That's just a no. That's just a no. He shouldn't be holding. He shouldn't be holding her like that. So yeah. So. Anyway, moving uh, moving aside from that, <laughs> moving aside from that, uh, yeah, Sibala, Sibala, I, I I love this girl, I love Rayka, but fuck, they really, they really, they really ruined her character, and made her or made made her become a broke con. Fuck, and I thought Spectre was way worse. So to be honest, I don't. To be honest, I don't like Spectre. I like girls. Look at what I fucking like girls. I'm not gonna say love. No, I like girls. I don't, I don't think girls is all that bad of a show, in my opinion. Go out. I seen worse. But uh. But uh, yeah. <laughs> it feels. <laughs> God damn. Yeah. The, the, If I can go back in time when Kamari Saber is airing back in 2021, I would love to do is see see what was the original plan they could have done for the whole Thai show. I know that uh they had like a lot of original plans for the show, but they couldn't do it in time, mostly mostly because of COVID, unfortunately. And well, around that time of 2021, COVID wasn't the best wasn't nice to everyone around that time, so, yeah. But, uh, 
but yeah though I would love I would love to see to I would love to see what the f what the fuck would I, what the fuck would have happened if uh well <laughs> if well uh how can I say that anyway ah uh, yes ah uh, yes I will I will love to see I would love to see what the fuck would happen if Saber had like no interference if everything went according to the plan cause I know it didn't though but yeah yep that's when I'm gonna ask me do I like Saber? No <laughs> yeah no I think Saber is a well how can I say the nicest way ever okay it's not mid no. It's ass? No. It's garbage? No, it's me and Yorker at best. I take that back. No. I think Saber is pretty much the same level the same level as Ultimate Trigger. Both shit shows had so many retcons for his own story. Characters are good also at the same time, me and Yorker. The theme songs are pretty good. They slap. The final forms are top garbage. I'm sorry. I'm fucking sorry. Don't get me started on Glitter Trigger and Claw Saber. My god. I say this. I say this many times to my friends. But. Ultimate Trigger is basically the Comrade Crib. Basically the Ultimate Crib. Ultimate Trigger is basically the Ultimate Crib. 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 Ultimate Trigger is basically the Comrade Saber of, of Ultraman. Yep, I say it. I'll say it again. Ultimate Trigger is basically the Comrade version of Ultraman. And no, I'm not taking that back, by the way. Just want to clarify that. So, yeah. So, though, uh, look about the, look about how about Kiva. I do have planned this year to rewatch a lot of Comrade shows, or a lot of shows in general. And, uh, well, Kiva, okay. I have one for Fies, though, because it's been like three fucking years. No joke, that's for real, though. It's been like three years since I watched Fies. Last time I watched Fies was uh 2020 when the pandemic began. Well, it's been watching every kind of show. And, uh, I didn't have the best time watching Fies. I hated it. I hated it. In my <laughs> And, uh, my 2020, 2020, 2020 Broku, uh, hated it, hated Kaiser. Do I hate Kaiser now? No, I don't, no, I don't care for the character, I don't like him, but I don't hate him anymore. So, yeah, I do have plans to be watching Fies, so that's gonna be it. What about for Kiva? Well, that depends. If, if this, uh, pocket episode get like, okay, let's say, if, you, if this podcast episode get around like 500 likes, I will rewatch Kiva. That's impossible, but uh, yeah, no. If this if this podcast episode get get, get up to 500 likes, I will rewatch Kiva. I will I will I will rewatch Kiva. I'll, I'll I will rewatch all Kiva. If this gets up to 500 likes, <laughs> well, that's gonna be fun <laughs> because I had planned to rewatch Kiva last year for my podcast, but I never got a chance to. <laughs> I always avoid it till I'm on my spin wheel. <laughs> well, uh, I'll, 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 I'll use spin wheel even more, but still. <laughs> so yeah. So yeah, though, if this podcast gets up to 500 likes, I will rewatch. Two, make sure to please subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to get to a thousand subs this year before 2023 ends. So yeah. <laughs> but yeah, though I will, be, I will be watch Kiva. If that happens. If my if this vehicle. Okay, that's weird. My dog ground for no reason.
fun. Cause oh boy, <laughs> oh boy, this is gonna be fun. Like, like this, like this, 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 this is definitely gonna be fun though. I can't wait to rewatch Kiva to see what the hype is about after I called it boring on Twitter. <laughs> and after I got, at the same time for me saying that, I got fucking annihilated in the crow treats, my fucking god. My guy, I never thought that the Tokyo fans would hate me even more as it is. <laughs> yeah, I'm the same guy that called Gokaiger. I'm the same guy that said I don't like the Gokaiger suit. And my god, the Gokaiger fandom really really got butt hurt by that. I wanna say butt hurt, but actually, yeah, no, I can say that. I can say they did. They did. They did. They did. They weren't happy. I called it. I call their favorite suits the Lord and Saviors. They, they weren't happy that I didn't like their favorite the the Lord and Saviors favorite suits. For back out reference to go kind of suit for the Lord and Savior part because well Yeah. Wait, book you don't like Gokai? I don't like It's hard for me to say this, but uh, I feel like Gokaiger is pretty much the Sentai version of Decade. Don't, don't even get, don't even at me with this. If you look at it, Marvelous is pretty much. Well, can I say this? Can I say this due to due to what happened last year with the actor? Well, we all know what happened to Jason David Frank. But uh, I'm just gonna say I'm just gonna say Tommy. Yeah, I'm just gonna say Tommy. Marvelous is pretty much. Tommy Oliver always come back in some type of crossover, and Marvelous does too. So yeah, <laughs> rest in peace to Jason David Frank. May the power protect you, my, may, may the power protect you. I always wanted to meet that, I always wanted to meet that man. Never had a chance, never been to a comic, uh, I've been to a comic con, I've been, I've been to a couple of cons, but like, I've never been to a comic man, a power ranger actor before, and uh, well, I always wanted to meet that man one day. And now I can't. It's, 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 it breaks my heart and it sucks, dog. Uh, I'm going, I have plans to go to Power Morphicon next year, and, uh, I wanted to see him. If he was there next year, I want to take a picture with the guy. Hang it. I'm not hanging up, but I want to take a picture with the guy. And no, uh, it can't happen now. Breaks my heart. Yeah. So anyway. <laughs> so anyway. Uh, back on, back on. As I was saying. Yeah, I don't care for Gokaiger. Going to get a lot of hate for saying that. I just don't. Wait, so what's your favorite anniversary? <laughs> I guess I gotta stop talking like that. My favorite uh, anniversary season for Sentai. That's a hard one to say. This Bulkinger. This uh, not Galranger. I think Galranger is kind of boring and meh. There's Bokinger, there's Zenkaiger, and Geolger. So to rank them, it's like this. Bokinger, Zenkaiger, and Geolger. Those are my top three for anniversary Sentais. So yeah. Why, wait. Yeah, yeah, that's it. For those who don't know me, yeah, yeah, yes. I love Bokinger. <laughs> I don't see people in the community talk about it. I know, I know it's a fan favorite. I know, I know, I know it's a fan favorite. Yeah, it, 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 I know it's a fan favorite. Yeah, it's, just, it's one of Japan's favorite Sentai's. It's one of my favorite too. I fucking love that show. I love the character. I like the villains. Well, except for one, but still, the theme song, well, the oh, the ending and opening song are so good. They're so good. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah. I love Akashi. Akashi, Sakura, <laughs> Matsumi, Natsuki, Sota, Eiji. Chi. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, I love them. 
Pokinjers, attack! <laughs> uh, uh, I love Pokinjers. This might be a. This might be a uh, hot take to say, but uh, I think I actually prefer Sentai Anniversary more than Comrades because Comrades having Comrades haven't had the best track record when it comes to anniversaries for Toku. Like, you had Decade, and Decade not, I know Decade is a hot mess with show, but I love that show, one of my favorites. We had Zeo, again, Zeo is a hot mess and not the best, just saying, in my opinion. Well, true though, but still. And I know that, I know, I know that it's one of Japan's least favorites. No joke, it actually is. <laughs> Then we had Kabuto. Well, to be fair, Kabuto. Kabuto was an anniversary, but at the same time, the only thing, the only thing, the only thing different in is just, just promote random mini movies at the end of the episode of Tendo's actor speaking English. Like, no joke, his actor speaking English when he talk about Kamara is stronger. Just saying. Yes, I know. His actor fluent in English, so I know that for sure. And uh, we have Revise. Oh, oh, no. oh, God, Revise. Oh, God, Revise. What can I say about you? Oh, boy, Revise. You still, you, you, I still don't like that show. <laughs> Even though that show's old, I still have a lot of hatred for that show for some reason. I didn't know. I have a reason why I hate that show. If you watch my Revise podcast episode, I ran on, I ran on a huge rant talking about Juga. It's been like one year since that happened. Well, has my opinion changed on Juga as a whole? Nope. Still don't like the suit. A man, I yet they fucked up. A man, I yet they ruined George character with it, with it, with his annoying, mediocre, ongoing daddy arc. That that should have ended. Just say after his dad died. And uh, well, what I can say. Ah, yes, Aguilar. Agnes is a better female writing that show than Gina. Eh? Don't care what no one said. <laughs> hell, fucking hell, always better than Gina. What the fuck? <laughs> I sound like an asshole bashing this show. My goodness. <laughs> Revice, hey, still going on, boy? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. I'm kidding, relax. I'm just, I'm just joking. But, uh, but yeah, though. Yeah, though, uh, Revice, this is for me. So, oh, hey, so, if you get, so, what up can I talk about? Fuck. Damn it, I don't have, like, a script. Fuck. Okay, I know what we can talk about. So, <laughs> last week, for those that watch my podcast episode, I talk about a certain drama show, J drama show that me and my friend watch, you know? We watched the first episode of it. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. We got the first episode. Dude. We got the first episode of the one J drama. You know, well, what can I say about that? Okay, I can say this. So we watched. This, so we watched this J drama called Red Apple. I think that's the English name for it. The Japanese name hard for me to say. And uh, God, oh God, the first episode was something. It wasn't the best. It was. It was mediocre. But it was something I can say. And, uh, what the fuck? <laughs> me and my friend are cracking up and having a fun time watching. T- <laughs> well, me and me and him gonna watch all ten episodes of this fucking show. <laughs> God, <laughs> I can't say what the show's about due to due to the fact that I don't want to feel get deleted off YouTube. But let's say the show talk about the birds and the bees. That's the best way. That's the best way for me to describe it. The show's about the birds and the bees. <laughs> if you follow me on Twitter, you know what I'm talking about. So, yeah, I'm not going to say it on this podcast. <laughs> ay, 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 what the fuck? I watch a lot. I watch. I see my fair share of J-drama. I don't one, but my God, this one take the cake. I think the, I think, I think like the other one, I think it's the last one I fucking watched. Or, what was it? Oh yeah, the last one I watched was like a fucking 
weird daydream about 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 the freaking pink ranger from Nin Ninja, cousin's actress. And she was like in this J drama about, about she was she was she was like in one J drama in the show about a sister trying to find her trying to find out about her missing brother. And then she finds out through like an episode that her brother was a complete dick. Well, was a complete dick and he's dead by the way. And uh, well and well she fell in love with she found over a guy who was associated with her brother and uh <laughs> and now he pretended to be her now that now the fucking luck. <laughs> it gets fucking weird in the final episode because in the final episode the guy the guy tried to kill himself and uh well that didn't work. He tried to drown himself in water in the ocean but uh but uh, the but but uh, the girl but the girl found him and uh well after that they moved and he pretended to be her brother. So not only <laughs> Can't remember gonna say that. So not only, so not only he pretended to be someone else. He's also in love with this girl. You can't call this. This is this is a fucking incest. What the hell? What the fuck is? It's fucking weird. It's a weird drama. Why did I watch it? Only for, only for Cosney's actress. That's it. Because well, I love watching. I love watching. Sh I love watching not Toku show. When, when, when I see a familiar face on the screen. So, yeah. It's weird. It's fucking weird. It's a weird show. And I don't, don't recommend looking it up. I'm, I'm not going to say what it is, but it's so fucking weird. <laughs> it's so fucking weird. <laughs> God. And I watched, I, watched, I watched it last year. It was boring as shit. <laughs> it was boring for me. <laughs> But yeah, it, yeah, it's still weird. It's still fucking weird as shit. I don't know why the fuck is like that. I, I can't, I can't type it. These fucking J dramas make no goddamn sense. Like they're based off the fucking mangas of the famous manga. But at the same time, the the live action counterpart looks so fucking just seems so fucking weird. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Japan! What the fuck are y'all watching? <laughs> I sound like an asshole. I should be. I should be sounding like an asshole for saying that, but still, yeah, I know I can say that. <laughs> I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna bash Japan because well, it's television and all. But don't get me wrong, Japan, Japan wants to know, okay, how the fuck, how the fuck do these Americans watch this shit at times? I'm like, God damn, God damn, Japan, <laughs> y'all, <laughs> are y'all weird bashing American television? But to be fair, to be fair, I can't blame them because. Then we because we because we because well can't lie we have shit we have we have like shit television at time over here in America so so yeah uh, yeah yeah so it's just, it's just weird okay it's just weird so yeah though that's uh that's my week oh <laughs> yeah yeah oh yeah yeah oh yeah just want to say this guy uh. I was thinking about quitting my job, and I hate my job. I'm not gonna quit yet, no, not yet. Something I was calling my name very really soon. I can feel it. So I'm just not having, just having, just not having a fun time at my job, though. I'm being serious for this one. I've been there for like, like what? Since last, since three, yeah, three fucking years. I've been there, and uh, well. I didn't have the best. I didn't have the best time. Well, beginning of the year it was fun. Beginning of the year it was something. Twenty twenty one it was not the best, but aggravating. Twenty twenty two it was fifty fifty, but yeah, same time. I know twenty twenty two it got way worse. Cause my fucking god, I hate that place so much. Ay ay ay. And now I'm just. Now I feel like that I need to I need to leave that place as soon as possible. Not now, no, but soon because every time every time I'm in there, it feels like that my feel like that uh my mind we can say can I say mind yeah, I think mind the perfect word for it my mind or my 
depressed or my enjoyment become more and more miserable because we all we all had that job that we did not like that we want to fucking quit. I've been I've been here for I've been there for three years and now well I'm not having a fun time as it is. And uh, fuck, I wanna find something that caught. I wanna find a job that had to do with like. Okay, let's say basically me being a critic for some type of show or movie, or me being a photographer. I'm down. I'm down for doing. I'm down for like doing any of those two jobs. And yeah, <laughs> where I work now, I'm not having a fun time. It's just annoying though. Cause my God, I just can't. I don't. I just can't with it. It's just annoying. No one listens to me at times. Well, well, few people, but not all. Not, not everyone. Customers are just fucking idiots. Excuse my language, but yeah, customers are just annoying. I can say, and uh, always get treated like crap there for no reason. And it's annoying. <laughs> like I feel like I'm. I feel like when I'm there, I'm everyone's fucking meat shield. That just pisses me off. And that, and that needs, that needs to stop. Also, I just realized that a super, I just realized that uh, my uh, band Presto Zeno Super Saiyan Four Goku, he had yellow eyes while Vegeta had blue eyes. Let's wait a minute. Is that enough for the figure art? Oh shit! It is. Damn. Huh, that's crazy. <laughs> Damn, I never knew that till now. <laughs> e Why am I doing that? I don't know. But, uh, but yeah, though, I'm not having a fun time at my job. I'm just not. I want to find a job that, that I can relax and have fun time and say, you know what? I'm making good money from doing this. And yeah, I don't, I don't even have to leave home for this. There's a certain YouTube channel that I watch at time, cut off my TV, and uh, I said to myself, "Damn, so you tell me that uh, their job is just them playing fucking video games on Twitch and not on Twitch at time? Yet, yet they're doing that at home for a life living. Hell yeah, I fucking want this. Oh hell yeah, I'll, hell yeah, sign me up. I want to do like I want to do shit like that at home." At home, at my house, just well, I like playing video games. At the same time, at the same time, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be mad, I wouldn't be mad playing, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be mad if I getting paid to play a freaking Dragon Ball video game. And hell, fuck's sake, let me go buy a PS2 and buy take it easy, buy all the Budokai, the Budokai games. One, two, three. Hell, Budokai Tenkaichi. Hell, let me go buy a fucking PS3 and go buy all the PS3. Dragon Ball games. Not Battle Z. Fuck that game. That game's trash. <laughs> but yeah. But but yeah though. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, but for real though. If there's a job you don't like, just if there's a, if, if if you've been in a job for three like years like I have, just quit. <laughs> Fine. Don't quit. Don't no, no no. I'll take that. Don't quit. Don't quit. Find find a job that you like. Send an application in, and wait to get a reply before you go about quit. For me, I haven't sent I haven't sent any applications in yet. <laughs> I, yeah, I, yeah. For this podcast, I know I know I know at times I just shit on I just crap on shows that I'm gonna like that I don't. But right now. This, right now, I'm just being very really serious for saying that I really don't like my job where I, where I work at. I actually don't like it. It gives me frustration. It made me. It makes me unhappy. And every time I'm there, I feel like I feel like time my mental health is going down the toilet, going to zero. Cause fuck this. Hell, at the same time, my damn creativity isn't at the maximum when I'm working there. Like. Like I have like like I have core ideas to take pictures, but when I'm out, when I'm out of work, I'm like fuck, I'm tired. Had no energy to do it because that fucking place drained the shit out of me. And I hate it. I, I, fuck, damn it, dude. I 
I just I want to find a place I can work at that I can well shit be my own boss work from home and take pictures we can say and yet after, after not taking a picture I sent the, I sent the pictures in through email bam I get paid like that I know voice actors do some of the same thing same in voice clips voice clips about their voice and then bam like that they get paid there's a there's a social media influencer there's a social media influencer that I follow that actually lives where actually lives where I uh, actually live around where I live at funny enough well, I would say the same location but uh, he lives somewhere downtown where I live at not down there, but fuck. <laughs> he lives. <laughs> he lives. <laughs> fuck, got the. Okay, I'm just gonna say it. Do Do any guys know about the social media social media influencer named S T. Stephon S T. Johnson. He's a uh, food critic. He's a uh, food critic. He, he he's a food critic. And he reviews well food, <laughs> and uh, I look, uh, I look at this guy's video I'm like, damn it, damn it, this guy's brand is all about food, pretty much. And uh, the hustle and grind he does, I fucking love that. I want to do the same thing. What the man, the man's a voice actor, by the way. Just want to clarify that the man's a voice actor, and yet, and yet. He's making good money. He's making good fucking money for saying his voice and for commercials and stuff. I'm like, God damn it, I could totally see my I could totally see myself doing this as well. I can't lie. <laughs> I uh, my job where I work at, I feel like it's holding back my true potential. And I want that I want the freaking I'm gonna be safe for saying that, but uh, I want the freaking chains to be break. I want to break the chains. Ha! Funny. Get it? Pun intended. Kiva. <laughs> but yeah, for At work, I feel like every time I'm in there, there are freaking change. Change. Change of <laughs> locks. The freaking change of locks on me. And like every time I try to break them, the they get tighter, and tighter. And yeah, once I leave that place, <laughs> the change are the change are the change change are freaking off. Break the chains. <laughs> Why am I? Oh yeah, that song's so fucking good. Even though I don't care for Kiva, that song is so fucking good. Especially the, especially the Kamen Rider Girl version. Yeah, have you guys heard that? That song's fucking... That version fucking slaps. Jesus Christ. And the violin? Holy shit. God damn it. The violin in the background is so fucking good. I highly recommend it. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, ay, ay. So... But yeah, though, when I work, not when I work, I want, I hate that place. I'm thinking about quitting, but I can't yet, unfortunately. But I know that really, I know that I have a gut feeling that that's 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 I know I have a gut feeling that something's gonna happen to me very really soon. And I can't wait to see that. Can't 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 wait for that day to happen. Speaking of day, Valentine's Day next month. Then you guys, then you guys got like, any special man or women in your life? I don't. <laughs> I'm still single and I'm still mad about that. <laughs> and yet at the same time, I can't do jack shit about it. <laughs> I yeah yeah I hate Valentine's Day, but hey, I will suffer myself from watching with, with, with watching my favorite Sentai. So yeah. Fuck, who needs a girlfriend when yet, when yet, when yet you can fucking watch Decker Ranger that day? Ha! Couldn't be me. At the end, could be me. That's what I'm doing. I'll be watching Decker Ranger that day. So, yeah. 
the fuck needs a who, who the fuck needs a girlfriend when yeah, you can watch Decker Ranger? Oh hell yeah! <laughs> you gotta be a nerd. You gotta be a nerd not watching Decker Ranger. <laughs> what the fuck's wrong with me? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Nah, I'm kidding. But yeah, for real though, for real though, if if you have like a special someone in your life, I recommend not I recommend not fuck it up for you. See, he or she or they might be a, our keeper, their keeper. You know, well, there's only one of a kind of them. Yeah, there's only one of a kind for them, of them in the whole, in the, in the freaking, in the freaking sea. <laughs> and uh, well, unfortunately, I can't experience that. So yeah. <sighs> One day I'll get one. Oh yeah, I can't wait. I can't wait to get a girlfriend. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. I can't wait to join off on TV. <laughs> that second one ain't gonna happen for a long time. Hell no. <laughs> but hey, hey, hello, hello, off on TV. If you're watching this, my name's Aaron Bokusatsu. I follow you guys on social media, so yeah. Hello, let's talk. I have a Discord too. Just DM me on Twitter and we can talk. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. I'll be losing my shit. I'll be losing my fucking shit if anyone from Offline TV saw this video. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, Alpha. So, so, let's talk about Power Rangers. I haven't talked about Power Rangers in fact. I mean, the drama's over. It. That that's good. That's good. I'm glad that people in the community understand the frustration from from for me and many other power, black power Ranger fans in the black community. What are are our main issue with the whole Amelia being red? Well, Amelia being the leader, we can say. And Zato is it? But yeah. Waiting up for Power Ranger, it's it's kinda dry, like nothing new for it. Like for real, no, like for, no, like for real, nothing new for it. I feel like out of all the Toku cells, Power Rangers get shit on the most because well because well the company that the company that behind it has bro isn't using it for its full potential and that's like the biggest issue with it. And it breaks my heart because I hate I hate I hate going on Twitter and people shit on Power Rangers because well it's not Super Sentai Comrade Ultraman. Like I mean to be fair, compared to those compared to those like franchises it's really unfair, but still. I feel like besides Power Rangers, Ultraman Ultraman probably the most second franchise in the whole on Twitter that get a, that that get like a lot of shit, a lot of crap. It breaks my heart. Listen, Ultraman is really good. You guys, you guys are missing out on it. What well, Ultraman should be recommend, Goku? Well, okay. I recommend Orb, Z, Decker, but, but if you're a fan of the, if you're a fan of, uh, if you're a fan like of the Heise, of Heisei, I recommend like, I recommend, I recommend like pretty much Tiga or Dinah. I think Dinah's Heisei. Even though Tiga ain't for me, I tried to watch Tiga, like, two years, three years ago, well, two years ago, say, and uh, it didn't work out for me. I stopped, I stopped episode four and I went back to it. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, though. But, if, but, if you feel, if you feel like, a, if you feel like, a, if you feel like, a, like, any Ultraman show, there's like a, there's like a huge fucking selection of Ultraman. There's like, what? 55 Ultraman shows, a lot of special and movies, so you're good. But yeah. But yeah, there's like a lot of Ultraman content for you to go, to go check out. <laughs> I don't know if the Ultraman to please forgive me on this, but still. But yeah. And hell, Milk Creek, Milk Creek freaking licensed these, well, Milk Creek has some of these Ultraman shows and movies on DVD, so we're all good there. So yeah. <laughs> Also, you can watch them on Tubi as well, so it's good. Ultimate Z 
and Trigger and Decker are not on YouTube, unfortunately. But you can watch them on the official Superbike Production YouTube channel. So, yeah. But, uh, yeah, though. Ultraman. I actually like Ultraman. I think Ultraman is highly underrated, in my opinion. Because people, because if it's not Kamen Rider and Sentai, then it's not good. For fuck's sake. I, it pisses me off how people shit on Ultraman just because it's not, just because it's not like Kamen Rider and Sentai. Hey, guess what, guys? There, there, are, there are other bad Toku shells that aren't Kamen Rider and Sentai. That's coming from me. That's coming from me, a Super Sentai fan. So yeah, so so yeah. Give Ultraman, give Ultraman a chance. It's really good stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, so uh, let's talk. I want to say this though. I'm, I'm gonna say this. So I'm gonna say this. O Ranger. A friend of mine is trying to convince me to watch O Ranger, and I tell him I'm not watching O Ranger until my until I watch Decker. Like, I know that Old Ranger is not a fan favorite. I know I know that a lot of people fucking hate that show. But I don't know, dude. I'm like, I'm not actually, I don't, actually, I see review Old Ranger. It doesn't look all that bad, at the same time, I can't judge the show because, well, I haven't watched any episodes of Old Ranger yet. I know, I know that all my friends fucking hate that show. I haven't seen it yet. I fucking watched Jew Ranger. That's my first Sentai. Then about 2018, I went, I went, I went back to Sentai. I went back into Sentai taking over Abba Ranger. But still, I fucking, I fucking love Abba Ranger. God damn it. God, oh fuck. Now I'm talking about Abba Ranger. Damn it. Okay, you know, let's say that. <laughs> this year, the 20th anniversary for Abba Ranger. Fuck yeah. Let's fucking do this shit. I'm excited for that movie. I'm gonna see my bo I'm gonna see I'm gonna say my boy no fuck that I'm gonna see my fucking goats again Sanjo son <laughs> Ranu <laughs> Yoga I fucking love yoga Asuka Mikoto <laughs> Fuck yeah I'm gonna see I'm gonna hear that fucking theme song again too Abai 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 like Junda Gata I love Opera Ranger. God damn, I'm getting emotional right now for talking about that show. But I fucking love Opera Ranger. God damn it. Fuck. Well, oh, damn it. Listen. Listen. If you live in America, go buy the DVD off Shout Factory. And if you pre support official release. God damn it. Opera so good. I rewatched it last year. I rewatched it last year because uh, I had plans to. And uh, after my Hurricane Ranger rewatch, I watched re -watch, re -watch Opera Ranger. And I fucking love it. My my Operation Rewatch was really enjoyable. When McCullough appeared, I'm like, oh hell yeah, this motherfucker's back. Can we see this back again? God damn it. The motherfucker changed my mind. This man this man is really the peak of this man is really the best sex ranger. I mean he's number one, I'm sorry. Now, listen, you have your time fire, you have your shuriken jerk, you have no rally, actually no. Fuck no I hate that guy. <laughs> listen, you have listen, you have your time fire, you have your black bull or bull, bull black, you have your Geo the World, you have your Tokyo Six, but nah. 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 Fuck whole soldier. I'm sorry, but no, I gotta say this. Whole soldier is probably the most overrated six because people hype that guy up. When I watch Q Ranger, I didn't care for the guy. I didn't care for Whole Soldier. I thought, okay, you know, the suit, the suit's pretty alright. That the actor's fun. The actor, the actor's a cool guy, but I didn't care for the character. I didn't care for the character, and the fact that this fucker's pretty much a Gary still. Like I say that pretty much. I say that when I say that because when he appeared in the show, he act he act like a Gary still, and got got very really annoying. I'm, I won't say annoying. No. But say, but no, he he didn't got annoyed. No, he just he just didn't have a reason. He didn't have a reason to well, he didn't have a reason to be a gay still because you know you know I don't care for the character. <laughs> I don't care for the character. I don't care for the character. 
put this man in a fight be between him, Sure Kinja, we are so gold. I mean, so gold. Yeah, yeah, we are so gold and, and freaking curry gold and Abba Killer. Only three of those fuckers are surviving that fight. Who are the three? Makoto, Sure Kinja, and Uchi. Kondo ain't winning shit since, well, since Uchi technically, since Uchi also. A fucking swordsman, by the way, who also taking the first gold ranger. I'll say, I'll say the first like gold ranger, the first gold ranger in the dinosaur sentai between him and Kondo. That, that well, that that can use electricity way more than Kondo. Also, ooh, she's a fucking ladies man. I love that dork. God, listen, I love Kuryuja, Okay, Kuryuja's is a fun show. Uh, last week, my friends, uh, Anki and, uh, Will Justify, on, they were, uh, they were talking on the Cast Up podcast about, uh, fucking Kiryuja, and, uh, oh my god damn it, these two fucking, you know, these two bastards talking about Kiryuja, I fucking love Kiryuja, it's just so, it's just, it's just fuck, god damn it. go ask Kiryuja, guys, so fun, I love Daigo, I like Daigo, <laughs> Amy's, Amy, well, I felt, I'll be honest with you, I had a crush on Amy when I first watched Kiryu and I still do. Soji, I fucking love Soji. He's my, he's actually, he's actually my favorite character in the show. Next to Nosan and Uchi. Then we got, well, Uchi's sister, no, he says, no. Then we got Nosan's sister of, oh, oh. Sup, Jasmine? How you doing? So, so you're in this show too, huh? Just like, just like a Decker Ranger. <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah. No lie, no fucking lie. First time I watched Kuryuja was before was at the Decker Ranger, and I lost my shit when I saw when I saw the actresses in that show. I'm like, wait a minute, hold on. Wait, hold on. Dicky yells in Kuryuja. Wait, what? Wait, what? Oh shit, that's pretty cool. Oh hell yeah. Ah <laughs> yeah yeah, I fucking love Jasmine. Jasmine is an expert, yes. Yeah, she's also my wife. <laughs> I say wife, god damn it. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. But, uh, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, though. Uh, <laughs> I can't. I fucking can't. God damn it. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. But, uh, yeah, though. Cruiser's, Cruiser's so fun. It's a fun show. Go watch it. Also, I do agree. I do agree with. I do agree with what we will said. What the fuck of a real Sanjo's fetish? With fucking Amy, like, buddy, listen, buddy, listen. You did. You did. You tried this shit and drive with Kariko, and it didn't work out. So what the fuck is up with your damn foot, freaking foot fetish, buddy? Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. Let me say this. Sakamoto, Kurita Sakamoto, even though, even though he did direct the, he did, he did direct that show, he's not right as well because the guy had a fucking, the guy had a thing for, for, for like, for like foot fetishes. <laughs> not, not, I'll say it bad, not foot fetish, no. But he had a, but he had a thing in his fight scene when, when he's showing off a female's full leg. And like, and like the bottom of the skirt a little bit, like dude. I get it, Japan. Who watch your shit in Power Rangers? Just saying, hello, I'm one of your fans. Don't be wrong, don't be wrong, Chris. Don't be wrong. The man, my favorite Tokusatsu director and all, but still. At times, I question, I question his uh, directing, and it just doesn't work in my. This doesn't. Work in my opinion, so yeah. <sighs> but uh, overall, yeah, overall, yeah, though. Kurusha is a good show. Ryu Sanjo has a fucking fetish he need to take care of. <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. So overall, yeah, uh, yeah, that's all we talk about. Wait a minute, wait, 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 wait. oh yeah, don't watch Velma. Moving on. <laughs> Listen, if you want like a good Scooby Doo TV show, there's like there's like a lot there's like a lot of Scooby Doo content you can watch that isn't that show. 
Like right now, I'm rewatching Mystery Incorporated because well, that's my favorite. That's my favorite version of the Scooby Doo game. Also, I watched that show when it came out, so that show technically well, somewhat part of my ch my my teenage years, or my childhood. Well, I'll say childhood, but still, you know what I'm trying to say. So yeah, so yeah though, uh, that's yeah, that's it. <laughs> thanks for all, thank you all for watching. Listening that put yeah. Forgot uh, this is called YouTube, not Spotify. I, don't, I, don't, I can't put. I, don't have, ah, I can't talk. Fuck. Thanks for for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. Follow my social media description. And I'll uh, put and put the notification bell on for my next video. And subscribe to my channel because well, again I'm trying to hit the I'm trying to hit I'm trying to hit to a freaking a fucking thousand subs this year. And um, we, we, you guys just help. I can't oh, fuck. Wait, wait, you guys, I can't talk. Fuck. Please subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to get to a thousand stuff. Wait, wait, you, <laughs> wait, you guys just help. <laughs> we can do it. I can't talk right now. God damn it. And, uh, yeah, guys. <laughs> my name is Aaron, and I. <laughs> I'm, I can't. I can't right now. My name is Aaron, and I'm out. Have a nice day. Bye. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs>